Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and today we're going to be going over the all-new 2021 Kia Seltos. This is the first 2021 vehicle that we are reviewing, and it's kind of different, but yeah, this is happening. So first and foremost, we're going to do a walk around on the Kia Seltos, just like every other review. Then we're going to take it out and see how it drives. A huge shout out and thank you to Jerry Siner Kia here for providing us with the Seltos. Definitely check out their inventory in the link below. Let's get into the video. Under the hood here, we have a naturally aspirated two liter four cylinder that's hooked up to an IVT transmission, or it also stands for an intelligent variable transmission. Power outputs are 146 horsepower and then 132 pound feet of torque. And then in terms of fuel economy, it's 27 around town and 31 on the highway. Now let's go over things on the front end of the Seltos. So there is that little LED accent light. You can kind of see that right there in the corner. You got these massive projector bulbs just right there. Fog lights are down below. And then right here at the front, it actually looks like a skid plate. I think that's a really cool aesthetic cue on it. Obviously you got the Kia logo at the top right there. And then other than that, this is actually a pretty good looking car from the front end. I like the kind of like little bulges there on the top of the hood. Now coming to the side, we've got two 15 millimeter tires and 17 inch rims. And in terms of the design on the rims, I think that Kia definitely has killed it here. It's just a really cool little design. They're definitely very unique. Now you've got the all wheel drive badging there on the side. And then I'm just gonna take a couple steps back and actually off this little curb here. So you guys can see kind of like the full side view angle on the Seltos. Here's the key fob for the Seltos. It's actually a really cool looking little key fob. Now on the side here, you actually have the functions for like the lock, unlock is down here and then the horn release. So if you lock it and then you hold the button on the back of it, that's actually what will do the remote start. I don't think you can hear that come to life. Now, just like any other car, if you do want to shut it off, just hold that down again and then it'll shut it right off. Pop into the rear of the Seltos. So all we have to do is just press this little button right under here and then that will allow us to get into the back of it. Now actually coming into the rear here, all of the floor mats, all that kind of stuff are back here. But in terms of storage space, it's actually really solid in the back of the Seltos. There's kind of like a full view on it. Um, but there's this little cubby under here. You gotta pull it just a little bit. There's where the spare tire is. You can fold these seats down and it looks like they also have a recline function. And then when you are done with it, they make this nice little handle here where you can kind of just grab it there and then toss it down. Now finishing things up in the rear of the Seltos. Yes, we do have uh, faux exhaust tips, but it does make it look sportier. Obviously the Seltos badge there on the side. On the other side it says EX. And then it's cool to have a strip that goes all along the back there. And then in terms of the taillight design, just look at kind of like all the little intricacies in it. Definitely a really cool look. But again, here's kind of like your three quarters angle on it. Going to the rear of the Seltos, here's the door panel for the back. You got this nice black trim right here that kind of has this like little silver insert to the door handle. Very nice design touch. Leather padding here on the side with a little window control. Now here are the seats in the back. And yes, we're gonna pop in, but I like the little perforations on it. It kind of makes like a little honeycomb design, which is pretty neat. Now there is a little cup holder that pops out just like that. A couple vents there on the other side and then a little charging station. Now we are gonna pop in, so kind of gotta duck just a little bit. Um, now, I mean, in terms of leg room, I've got plenty of leg room. Now headroom, I'm about five foot eleven, and again, I've got a decent amount of headroom. So in terms of just room in this back seat, it's actually really solid. And the only thing to note is there's no like storage pocket here, but there is one over on the passenger side. We have keyless entry here in the Seltos, so one touch to lock it and then to unlock it, just press it again. Now there is a little blind spot monitor in that mirror, obviously in the passenger mirror as well. But opening up the door panel for the front. It looks identical to the one in the rear. You can see the use of materials is all the same. The only difference is all the controls right here, obviously for the driver. And that actually looks really cool. I've never seen a speaker like that where they do little ridges on it. So another really cool touch by Kia. Here is the front seat though. Kind of like a full view on that seat. Has that same kind of little honeycomb design. Power adjustments are on the side of the seat. There is your pedal layout just down below little hood latch release and they got a couple controls over here your auto stop start that's to keep in the lane and then your stability control and then note the steering wheel is manually adjustable and here's one more look before we fully pop in before we start up the Seltos I really like the feeling of the stop start button it actually has a nice premium feel to it but anyways foot in the brake push that in and then I'll do the normal system check and everything will come to life here's the steering wheel in the Seltos let's kind of zoom in so 
normal Kia stuff right there in the center. Um, on this side, you've got the cruise control and then obviously to help you keep in the lanes, this is the pages for the center screen. We'll go over that in a minute. Over here, you've got like your voice commands, phone controls, all of that. Black contrasted stitching, very smooth leather that goes all the way around. And then over here, that's your stock for the lights and turn signal. And then you've got a stock on the other side for the windshield wipers. We've got all of the gauges here. We've got RPMs on the left side. On the right side, we have the speed. And then you've got that little center screen right there that'll kind of show you different bits of information. I can go through a couple different menus on it just to, again, give you different bits of info on the Seltos. Pretty easy to use. I'm just gonna leave it to be a digital speed. Here is our center touchscreen display. Now we're going to show you the backup camera first and foremost. There is that. It actually has a little turning thing and I love how it has two different sets of lines. That always makes parking a whole lot easier when manufacturers do that. Now for the rest of the screen, there's analog buttons on the side of each side of the screen and then down below obviously. Um, in terms of the responsiveness of the screen itself, um, response time on it seems to be pretty well with the buttons. Now in terms of the touchscreen aspect, yeah, I mean, it takes a second for some stuff to load up, but I mean, you can see the response time on it is really solid. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much everything for the screen, but note that it does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so definitely passes that check. We have the vent set up here with the little hazard lights in the center. That is a single zone climate. That's all controlled via this little separate screen, which again, I love that. Now down here, we've got a couple charging stations. We've got our drive modes. I'll go into that in just a moment. Here is the shifter for that IVT transmission, and it does have a manual shift mode. Now here is the little heated seat controls. You get heated seats for both sides, and then you do have a little locker right there and hill descent control. So yeah, this SUV's got a little bit of off-road cred couple cup holders here's the little hand brake and then we've got the center console right there in that little area got some nice little leather trim on the top of it now the drive modes are going to pop up on the center screen there is a couple there's sport smart and normal and you can scroll either way through them so you don't have to go through all of them you can just kind of go either way you can see I'm going from side to side but yeah there's your different drive modes um, smarts better for fuel economy obviously sport is sporty driving and normal is normal now capping things off we've got the little glove box down here and again i actually like this black trim now i know some people will be opposed to it because yes you do have to clean it up on a regular basis but when it is clean it looks really nice and just look at the design on this Seltos in general, it's definitely really nice how they've done that. Top, we got a little light controls and it is actually LED lights. I really like that, just looks nicer in the cabin. Here is the center, it lets a ton of light into the cabin. The sun was right in my eyes right there. Um, in terms of the headliner, it's a lighter colored headliner and yep, there's just everything up top for you guys. Now that we're done going over the interior on this Seltos, let's briefly talk about pricing. So this particular Seltos in the EX trim stickers for about $26,000 for any type of market adjustment, which I mean, for being an all wheel drive SUV that gets good fuel economy and has all the safety tech, it's a really solid value. That all being said, let's take the Seltos out and see how it drives. Now, before we set off here in the Seltos, let's talk about visibility all throughout the SUV. Visibility over the hood, it's actually really easy to see out of it. Just kind of, boom, ends right there. See visibility through the side mirror and through the other mirror as well. And then all throughout the rear, it's actually really good. I'm glad that they put that little window right there. Um, but yeah, visibility in the Seltos is actually really solid. And well, let's set off initially. And yes, we've got to go over this little tiny kind of bump sort of thing I guess you could call it <laughs> but yeah, anyways steering so far very light um, I'm just briefly going to talk about maneuverability before we actually get onto the road itself and so far I mean it's a smaller size SUV so it's going to maneuver really well and I mean there's really not a whole lot to talk about there it's just something that's going to be very easy to park that camera system was nice and yeah let's wait a second until we can get on the road now that we are actually kind of off on the road here um, the ride quality so far is very smooth. I mean, it's just kind of going along everything. It just has this very nice, smooth, comfortable feel to it. In terms of the noise that comes through, it's actually really quiet. Um, I had to go over a couple of speed bumps and not only did they not upset the car, but it didn't really make a whole lot of noise. 
And yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a comfortable vehicle. I don't really have anything bad to say about it from like a ride quality standpoint um, or a sound standpoint. Now we're actually gonna get our acceleration here at this part. Under the bridge, it's probably gonna be loud. Not just kidding. Um, yeah, acceleration is better than I expected. Just, you know, reading the power figures, I was not expecting the acceleration to be very good at all. However, I'm impressed. Though I'm actually also very impressed with this transmission. I mean, it shifts through the gears very smoothly. Well, I shouldn't say gears, it's an IVT, but <laughs> you guys know what I mean, right? It, it shifts through very smoothly. It's very comfortable and yeah, I mean, this is this is really solid. I am very impressed so far with the Seltos just from like a driving perspective. Um, and I have taken a few turns up to here at this point. And yeah, again, it goes right where you put it. Now, in terms of vagueness, there really isn't any vagueness with the steering. I mean, as soon as I put a little bit of input, it just instantly goes. So from a steering perspective, it's super solid. Let's sum things up here on the Seltos. If you're looking for an SUV that gets really good gas mileage, obviously something that's all wheel drive, which is great. I mean, you guys can see how crappy it is outside right now. Um, but yeah, all wheel drive, good gas mileage, tons of safety tech, and something that's actually really comfortable to drive as well, and you want a 2021 model year, then the Seltos is definitely a great option to check out. I'm very impressed with this and especially for the price point i mean i get a leather interior i get all the safety tech yeah this definitely is a bargain for just all the stuff that you get there we have it everyone the all new 2021 kia seltos definitely really cool to do a review on my first 2021 model year vehicle anyways again a huge shout out and thank you to jerry signer kia for providing us with the Seltos. Check out their inventory in the link below. If you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe. I will see all of you in the next video.